everybody that there is, complete strangers on the street, child molesters, <laughs> criminals, muggers, <laughs> anyone that passes us who brandishes a microphone in my face. So you just don't know if you are dead or alive, do you? I'm very much alive, but I'm starting to wear towards the dead side. But this is what you entered it for, isn't it? This is why you got into this in the first place. Not really to talk to everybody, no, to sing to everybody, but it appears that these days, before you get the chance to sing to everybody, you've got to talk to everybody and justify your existence. Not my fault. It's well, a shitty job, but someone's got to do it. People are pain in the <laughs> Nevertheless, the new album is called uh, Nuclear Petra, and yeah. uh, uh, it's quite an Australian sort of connection, the, the, the fact that the uh, album has appeared here and now. We should, I suppose, say hello to John Ferris and thank you to John Ferris and Tony. But um, uh, the album's pretty damn spiffy and thank you've you. done, uh, you've re-released, uh, you uh, spin me around with several, like five remixes. Yeah, well it's not so much, a, uh, it's not so much been released as it's escaped. <laughs> It wasn't strictly our choice, but because we've been supposedly away for such a long time, it gives people something familiar to latch on to, because I really do believe that fundamentally everybody's a nostalgia freak. They like to cling on to the past. It's very hard to get anything new. Cling but on. But I ain't complaining. Oh, good. Uh, there it is. That's the new single. There it is. Uh, the remixes, anyway. And uh, apparently you, uh, like didn't sort of have much to do with the remixes, you just sort of, they came back in, you just said, geez. Well, we don't, we, we've only ever had remixes done once before, and we, we didn't actually like them, not of this track, it was a different track, and John Ferris persuaded us to allow him to go away and do these remixes himself, which he didn't admit to, and we actually like them, and because the song is so, so old to us, it's about 11 years old, it was getting to the point where I seriously thought about blowing my head off every time I had to sing it. Mm because repetition, as you know, can be very painful. But he gave us a new slant on it, and I ain't complaining. It's got me out here in a nice hotel. But that's a surprise. I would have thought a lot of your material would have been just uh, sort of really ready for a remix. You know, there'll be lots of stuff you can fill around with. Yeah, but this is just something that they wanted to re-establish us in the market and with radio DJs and stuff like that. It gives people an angle to talk about, really. Because they're lazy sods and they couldn't be bothered. Yeah, the imagination. The yeah, yeah, well, it just makes it a bit easier to sell the new stuff, and that's the way the cookie crumbles. So uh, when people go to see Dead or Alive uh, in person, yeah. uh, what do they get as far as a live show goes? What, just what? me being my marvellous, sunny old self. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, how, how far back do you go with the material? Well, as far as I can bear to, which is about three or four songs, until they're probably remixed radically and re-recorded, I can't go too far back. If I spend my whole life walking backwards, I'm never going to get to take a step forward. Mm. And we've always done, we we're always moving on, doing new material, and it doesn't always get released in every territory of the world, but it's always out somewhere. Yeah, yeah, stuff like The Last Fly and The Butchers, you know, yeah, it's all over the shop. Yeah, you? and this is like, this song, Spin Me Round's a bit like a boomerang, as you have them in this country. It always comes back. It's obviously there to haunt me, taunt me and torment me, and it's done me a lot of good, but it's also driven me half mad at times. Well, we'll just have to uh, uh, work on a, an even bigger one to sort of top it, and then they'll forget about that one. Well, I do hope so. I don't think people will ever forget about it, because it was a hit in about 27 countries and a very big hit. It's just we kept a relatively low media profile so maybe people in you know other countries aren't aware that it was big everywhere but please let me move on eventually very well and what's the japanese uh, sort of apparently a huge in japan i mean you're well no they're all about here, four foot six you know <laughs> so it's not that difficult to be huge you know we're very very successful in japan i suppose you're going to ask me why well i don't know <laughs> you tell me no, I was just more interested in the in the Japanese response. I mean, do they? they it's it's wonderful. I mean, you know, pe people have this idea that they're all running around in geisha girl drag, and why is he waving his arm? Wave your it's knob a, at us. It's arthritis. <laughs> he can't help it. Um, you know, well, what are you asking me? What are they like? Yeah, like what? Black hair, yellow skin, slanty eyes. But I mean, they're sort of they're notoriously reticent, the Japanese crowds. No, the youth culture isn't. Maybe that's the old fogies with the geisha girl drag on, but the, the youth culture's pretty crazy to emulate anything they see as Western and wacky. Picked up at like getting any nice kimonos or anything? Something. Not my scene. No? Not my scene. I get nice presents, but kimonos aren't really amongst them. Oh, I thought silk would suit you. Oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> uh, just quickly now, uh, a couple of winners for last week's stuff we'll be sending out to uh, uh, Gail Sully at Taylor's Lakes. Uh, w Downey looks suspiciously like the Dalai Lama. And uh, Brendan 
uh, Hartwick of uh, Moor Bark, you'll be scoring stuff because you're so kindly right into us. Uh, hookers and deviates ball, do we want to know about that? Not right now. A uh, lot of good gigs on this week, uh, including, as we mentioned, thanks, Barty, Dead or Alive at the Warehouse tomorrow night. And I'll leave you with uh, a clip we just thought was too hilarious not to uh, let go. And uh, if you want to write in for next week, for no apparent reason, you'll score a copy of this and a copy, copy of the new a UMI scopy. single. Come on, you're slaring your words, you you're drunk Mr. Tongue and Mr. Lips. Uh, this is uh, an old Billy Idol tune as performed by uh, some hilarious Germans named Scooter. This is Rebel Yell. I'd like to thank Pete Burns and uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs>